Hey guys, uh, John Man here again. Um, I got Deck of the Month up this time, and it's kind of late, I'm sorry about that. But um, yeah, got it up here, and this time it is Aliens. Kazam. Uh, pretty much, uh, they are actually are, are all based on control and everything, controlling your opponent's monsters. And that's what you want to be doing with this deck. And that, and, you know, it's, the only decks that do really good against this are um, uh, Light Swarns and, you know, Glider Beast, but that's minor. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you the deck. Alright, first, an Alien Psychic. Uh, pretty much, I uh, summon it, changes defense. Any monsters with eight counters on them, including yours, will not be able to attack. So as long as he's on the field, he's you know prevents any monsters from being an attack or attacking. And Ammonite, this is your tuner. When you normal summon them, which is the only way to get this effect, is you can special summon one level four or lower alien monster from your graveyard, and then it's destroyed during the end phase. So you want to synchro summon with it or use its effect based on what it has, and Kazam, you know, gets done. Alien Grey, um, pretty much you're just going to use this for its effect, otherwise um, it's just a target kind of for M Animite, and use it with big monsters, so, but really nice, nonetheless. Uh, Alien Mars, this is like a skill drain in its own uh, respect, and any effect monsters with the 8 counters on them, other than himself, Will not have it or negate it. So pretty much like if you summon this, Jinzo's like Bleh! done. You know, he doesn't not negate traps anymore and stuff, so pretty nice. Two alien dogs. This is awesome actually. You summon like uh, alien Mars or you know alien psychic or something. Um, pretty much you can special summon this along with it. And uh, place two eight counters on your opponent's monsters. So it's really awesome. And um he has 1500 attack for level 3 monster, that's pretty nice. So, yeah. And then Hypno, um, this one, you pretty much just want to use, what it does is, during your main phase, you can uh, select one monster your opponent controls and take control of it, but that's, if I, wait, hold on, let me check here. Yeah, and you take control of it, and during each end phase, you remove a counter, and when all of them disappear, your, that monster is destroyed. So pretty much, your opponent will never get their monster back unless they use like brain control or something on it, you know. But otherwise, this is awesome. But it's a Gemini, so you have to be careful of that. Two alien kids. Now, just so you know, most of these effect uh, or aliens that have effects with them um, have the effect where for each or if a monster battles uh, with eight counters on it, battles an alien monster, will lose 300 attack or defense during damage calculation um, for each A counter, which is really nice. So, like two A counters, you have this guy. Let's say, you know, Darius attacks this. It's gonna go down to 1100, and that's just with one. Now, if you put another one on there, that is already 1200. Darius is dead, and this works if you attack as well, so, because if, if a monster battles, you know. So, either one, so. Alien Telepath. You use this, uh, you summon this actually once per turn, you can move a counter from your opponent monster that uh, they control to destroy one spell trap, it doesn't matter which way, and it reduces your injury attack for each a counter. So right there, you know, really nice. It also does defense as well, so. Three alien warriors, um, pretty much awesome. Uh, you pretty much want to keep them on the field, but if your opponent destroys them because they don't like his attack, they're actually going to be in the downside because they will get two counters on a monster that destroyed this, and, as a plus side, um, he also has the 300 attack and defense decreasement effect as well. So, I mean, if they destroy him, if you bring out another one, it's like, bam, you know, look at that. Three alien shock troopers, he's just a beater, but he's really nice. I know he has no effect, but he has 1900 attack, and that's going to get over just about anything right now these days. Um, and Gladiator Beasts are the only things that kind of stand a chance against this because if they attack, they're going to, you know, remove the counters when they bounce back their monster, so it really sucks, or return their monster, which really sucks for you. So that's when you'll be able to destroy them fast. Uh, two alien overlords, uh, pretty much you're just going to use them for his effect, but his attack is amazing. And he can reduce uh, attack as well and defense on other monsters. 
but you can only control one alien overlord at a time. So, you know, you only have one on the field at any given time. And the best part about him, though, is that um, you, you can special summon him from the hand by moving two A-counters from the field. And once per turn, you can uh, place one A-counter on each monster your opponent controls that's face up. So right there, I mean, he's great with Hypno as well. So, And an alien mother. Pretty much you're just going to use her for when you, you summon her. Um, you have to tribute summon her. And if this destroys a monster with a counter by battle and sends it to the graveyard, during the, the end of the battle phase, you can take control of those monsters. So, just bam, you know, it's really nice. Uh, next here, hold on a second. Alright, uh, next we have three Otherworld, the A zone. Uh, it's a field spell, and this does the same thing for decreasing attack. But it does not do it for each A counter. Only does it for just aliens, you know. Um, it does not decrease the aliens. It just allows you to, when you attack with them, it, uh, the monster that battles it just loses three on your attack. And if I remember right, yeah, if the monster battles an alien, so it can be you attack or they attack, it still works. Uh, all right. Next, we have terraforming. Search them out. Pretty nice. Yeah, this one off there. All right. Uh, a cell incubator. What this does is for each time a counter is removed from play by a card effect, not like you know, from the game, from play. Let's say it's removed by like Hypno's effect or uh, Alien Overlord. Lord, uh, you, know, you pretty much just get, put an a counter on here. So then when this is destroyed by let's say a spell or trap card or a monster effect, if I remember right, yeah, um, you place a counters on your opponent's monsters and only on the mount that's left on here, so um, when it's destroyed. So that's why you use pretty much uh, um, telepath to destroy this. And another card you're gonna see shortly. So a cell breeding device. Um, I don't have more of these, but it's still pretty nice. You don't need one anyways, due to Overlord who's gonna fill the field anyways. Uh, during each of your stamina phases, oops, uh, went fine there. Um, you place one A counter on each monster your opponent controls, so this does it as long as it remains face upon the field. Two A cell. Oh, wow, that was good. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, a cell scatterburst. Um, you select one alien monster and poof, you destroy it and you distribute, or in this case, you know, um, place A counters, um, opponent's monsters equal to the amount of A counters, the, the level, equal to the level to, or, okay. And simpler, for how many levels your opponent monster has, or, okay, I'm gonna goofing this up, sorry. Alright, for each level your alien monster has, you place that many eight counters on your opponent's monster. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. And it's quick spell, so um, if you want to use it with Ammonite, you can do it and done. Next, we have two Mysterious Triangle. Um, you destroy opponent's monster that they control uh, with an encounter and you can special summon one alien monster level four from your deck and it's destroyed during the end phase so you gotta make sure you gotta use it so MST uh, basically just to help destroy incubator but also because it's very good anyways mass hypnosis this is gonna help you take control of monsters upon controls but you need an alien monster on your side of the field and pretty much uh, I take controls up to three and during the end phase um, this uh, darn, they all go back, and this is destroyed. But always, you need eight counters on all, all the time, so you know, for all these to work. So, uh, planet pollutant virus, you're gonna use this to pretty much, it's like, uh, it's like crush card virus, it destroys all their monsters, but only on the field, and it only destroys them without eight counters. And for the next three turns after this is activated, um, any others that are summoned lose or gain a counter. I mean, two orbital bombardment. You select, send an alien monster, destroy a spell or trap card. Uh, next, a dinner circle A. Um, pretty much, you're just going to destroy a monster if A counters on. Brainwashing beam. You just use it to get rid of uh, or take control of an alien or monster. And this, you pretty much just send monsters to the graveyard for uh, the search out an alien monster equal to the level of monsters you send. So, and next for the synchro monsters real quick, 
Uh, Red Dragon Archfiend, Colossal Fighter times two. Stars Dragon, Black Rose Dragon times two. Uh, Goya Guardian, Gaia Knight, Force of Earth, and Junk Warrior. So that's pretty much it, guys, and peace out.